and we can compare the GPU infrastructure of the Fiji XT and the Vega 10 and compare the two and I, I have a funny feeling they're going to be really close. Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We are on Facebook and Twitter. Today we're going to be talking about the Vega 10 update. It will be released at the end of May, beginning of June. Guaranteed. That's what's going to happen. What I've noticed, and I don't think anybody else has noticed, or maybe they just didn't come public with it, if you compare the two specifications of the R9 Fury X and the Vega 10, they are very much the same. The only real difference is, is the memory interface, and that's it. Every, all the other specs are pretty much the same. We don't know the CPU speed or the memory speed. We just know like basic specs. So based on what we're seeing here, the R9 Fury X does 8.6 teraflops and the core clock is just over a thousand megahertz. So if, if, I mean, granted the GPU is a uh, Fiji XT, we, we, we know that, but I think the Fiji XT could be, I think the Vega 10 and the Fiji XT are probably pretty close. Could we don't, I'm, I'm taking a guess now. I, I'm, I'm just, I don't think anybody's even thought about even comparing the two, but I really think that based on what I'm reading, that the core clock of the Vega 10 has got to be over 1500 megahertz in order to keep up or e in order to actually achieve the 25 teraflops that it's claiming it can do. Who knows what the memory, effective memory speed is going to be. But I'm hoping it's the same as the RX 580. So if that's the case, if it's 2,000 megahertz and it's quad pumped to 8,000, and the GPU uh, core clock is at 1,500, we may have a, a, a GTX 1080 titanium killer. So that's, that's the interesting thing. <clears throat> is that we don't know the speeds of the core or the memory for the Vega 10, we don't. So we need to speculate here based on what we've seen in the past and what we're seeing now for the specifications for the RX, for, for the Vega 10. The Vega 10 needs to be pretty strong. So the other thing is the RX, the, uh, the Fury X, has a memory bus of 4096 bit and that's using the high bandwidth memory one the hbm1 we're going to the second generation which is making it probably twice as fast so they're going they're cutting the memory bus from 4096 bit to 2048 bit and achieving higher performance so that's pretty cool so I really think that the R9 Fury X and the Vega 10 are one of the same. The Vega 10 is the new GPU, but it's a, it's a, well, we will find out soon, I'm sure. <laughs> Eventually the specifications will come out and we can compare the GPU infrastructure of the Fiji XT and the Vega 10 and compare the two. And I, I have a funny feeling they're going to be really close. <laughs> the only difference is, the only major difference is, is going to be um, the memory bus and, the perf and how much the chip can actually overclock if it can. And that's pretty much it. So that's my guess that the Vega 10 and the Fury X are the same. Anyway, guys, if, you're, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber... Please subscribe. Take care.